Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that with my cube, it has purple stickers instead of orange, but that's the only difference. Now, before solving the 2x2, two two, I would suggest that you solve a 3x3 three three first, but that, I mean, you'll still learn how to solve a 2x2, two two, even if you don't know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. So, on to the 2x2. Two two. Um, let's just get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a full layer of a certain color um, and that layer, like a full layer. So here's what the first step looks like when done. Okay? So I'll show you how to get that in one second. Okay, so the first step of solving a 2x2 two two is to pick a side that is going to be your bottom side. So I like to solve the bottom with white. So I'm always going to have white on the bottom. So I'm going to choose a white piece. It can be really any white piece. Um, but I'm going to choose this one. Um, it's white, red, I mean white, red, and blue. So, once you have your piece, remember, white is always going to be on the bottom. I'm going to tilt the cube up just to show you, but white is really always going to be on the bottom. So, you have white, or I have white, red, and blue. My scramble is different from yours. And so, I have to look for another piece that either has white and red, or white and blue. So I see a piece here that has white and blue. It doesn't matter if it has another color as long as it has white and blue. And there are three cases that your piece will need to be put in as. Um, two of them you can do whenever, and one of them is if you get lucky, you'll get it. Um, so one of the cases is where you put them um, across from each other and put it into place. Another, I'll explain all of them later. Another is when you're going to bring it up and put it in place. And you can always use those two cases. And a case you might get lucky with at some time, at some points, is when you just put the piece down and it solves. But the case I had is when they're across from each other. Now, you can see that they're across from each other, but there's two things you can do. You can use this case, or if you turn it to the side, you can connect them. Whatever is easier for you works. So, since it's already across, I'm going to show you how to do this. Put them across from each other so that there's a white in the bottom right corner, and a white on or er, and a white facing left. And what you're going to do is pick up the left side since the white is on the left. Turn it so that you can easily line it up and just put it back down. Now you may have a case that's the same just the other side just the on the right side which you'll do the same you'll put the white piece in the bottom left, I mean the top left, right there, and then a white piece on the right, and since the white piece is on the right, you're going to lift the right side up, and then make it so that it's easy to put down, and just put it down. Now another that you could do when you have this case, if you have a diagonal case, you can just turn it to the side, and if you think this is easier, you can use it. You can just turn it to the side and so that you can lift it up and put it back in and just align them and put it back down. So once you have this first um, two pieces, you just look blue, I mean white and red or for a white and orange or purple piece. So, <clears throat> I see right here is a white and purple piece. 
And this is one of those lucky cases where I can just put the piece down. Um, because it's white and purple, white and purple. And I can just put it down. But you might have a different case where it's something like this. Where you can't just put the piece down. It doesn't work. So again, I have a diagonal case and the white piece is to the left. So I'm going to lift the left side up because the white's on the left. Turn it over so that these two pieces are lined up. And then just put it down. Or, of course, I can always do the one where you turn it to the side, lift it up, align it, and put it back down. Either one works. Now for the last piece, um, it's always going to be a diagonal case or a um, aligning case. Um, so, once again, here's a diagonal case. And so, since the white piece is on the right, I'm going to lift the right side up, side, so that these two are connecting, or these two are lined up, and then back down. Wow, that actually got a lot, but yeah. So I could do that, or I could, once again, turn away, put it up, line them up, and put them down. Um, so that's pretty much how to get the first layer. You will sometimes get cases where there's not one along here. There's not a white piece along here. And so it can either be on the top or the bottom. If it's on the bottom, it's very simple what you do. If it's on the bottom left, you're just going to put it up. So put this up. And then turn it so that this white piece is facing toward you and then put it back down, and then you'll have a diagonal case. Um, and you do the exact same thing if it's on the other side. Um, oh, that's on the left again. Here. If it's on the right, you do the exact same thing. Just you lift the right side up, put it so it's facing toward you, and then you have a diagonal case. Um, the last thing that you might have is if there's a piece on the top. If there's a piece on the top, you're going to put it over the place where it needs to go. So I know that this white piece needs to go right here. And then you're going to bring it whatever side it's on. Right now it's on the right. You're going to bring it up, turn it two time, turn the top two times, and bring it back down. Bring this right side back down. And then you have a diagonal case. Um, if it's on the left, you're just going to do the same thing just with the left side since it's on the left. So left up, turn the top twice, and put this side back down. And then you have a diagonal case, or this case. Um, yeah, so that's how to get the first layer of a 2x2 two two cube. Um, watch part 2 to how to finish the cube, and that'll be in the description down there. And yeah.